Well, hi guys and gals, it's me, George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man. And uh, I have got to do, I want to do, I'm going to do a long overdue mail call. I have some packages and letters that I have received in the last month or so, and I just have not gotten around to doing them. The first one is from Canada. Mudnut 50... Oh, here I go again. George gets tongue-tied. Mudnut 59. See that? It says there, write it. Mudnut 59. Yep. And I was expecting this envelope, and he's probably wondering why I haven't mentioned it yet, because uh, we agreed to swap stickers. I sent him one of mine and he has obviously sent me one of his. Mudnut 59. There you go. Very cool. And let's see what this uh, note says. Hello George, I enjoy all your projects, especially your goofy cart rebuild. Your friend Glenn. Well, thank you very much Glenn. And uh, I have some of my stickers are on my cabinet up there. A lot of my stickers ended up being left back in Minnesota because I had been putting them on the uh, cabinet doors. Um, and those cabinets all stayed. So I have very few ca uh, <laughs> I have very few stickers left. But um, I'm glad to get putting them back up, and I'll have to see if I can find a place in the shop to put them up, don't you know? So that's the first one. And you ought to check them out, Mudnut59. And then I got another one, uh, and this one here came from... Uh, Elkhart, Indiana. This one's from my brother, Calvin, who you have met on here before. And he sent me a piece of nostalgia. Because back in the 80s, mainly the middle to late 80s, I was building houses. And he had come home from being a missionary in South Africa. And he worked with me. He and uh, two of his boys worked with me for... Um, well, better part of a year, I guess, building houses. And he sent me this. This is the flag from the lumber yard that we used to get our lumber at. Morse Lumber in Wareham, Massachusetts. So thanks, Cal, for that. I'm going to hang that up as a memento, too. And by the way, Morse Lumber, E.L. Morse, is still in business to this day. Um, and they were a full service lumber yard, had everything you needed. Then I got another package, another package. Maybe I should take my teeth out. I can talk better without them. This is from Stevie Ray Rains, also known as Cutworm59. And, uh, he addressed this package to Padre Donner. Well, because he knows that I have been a, a pastor and a preacher, and I still preach and teach and so forth, the Bible. And he sent me this very cool thing. Now, what he didn't know and what I didn't understand at first is that this pouch is made from elephant hide. And the company that made the pouch has subcontracted to have these made. This is a portable cup. And I think this one is stainless steel or maybe it's silver. I don't know. The way it's tarnished, I'd almost think that it's uh, silver. Now, he thought... And I agreed with him at first until I did some research. Can you see that? Come on now, I gotta put my hand up here so it'll focus. Focus. 
you see that it has a, 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 a symbol there with an R in the middle of it well the symbol is a keystone which is very simple it's simple boy I'm having a hard time today very similar to the logo for Pennsylvania Railroad but it's not from Pennsylvania Railroad it is from a company that worked out of Philadelphia Pennsylvania and they were a leather working company but this particular cup was made in Germany so this cup was fabricated in Germany as I said the leather pouch is what was made by the company that sold all of these. The name of the place that made these was C.F. Rump out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm reading it off the internet where I found it. Uh, it was founded in 1850. That's when the company was founded. So this is a very, very old vintage cup. And some of them say that they were nickel plated and that would make sense it says made in the USA on there so thank you very much cutworm um, even though it's not from a railroad it's still very cool and I told them I'm gonna find a place in the goofy cart for this because uh, we're gonna have to have a, some kind of travel package or something a bag or whatever and uh, Cutworm has supplied several things for the goofy cart he supplied the steering wheel and when he asked me if I was interested and I said absolutely because the steering wheel that's in my goofy cart is identical to the one that I had in my tea bucket way back when in the 70s so I said, yeah, I'd love to have that. He also supplied what is now the gas tank on the back of the Goofy cart. That was uh, a kerosene tank off of an old kerosene stove. And I'm trying to think what, there was something else that he supplied. I don't know, but he sent me several things over the course of my building the Goofy cart. So again, I want to thank you very much. Uh, cutworm and finally but not least I have a package here and a couple of stickers from Twisted R Racing Twisted R is the name of his channel and his name is Stacy and uh, he sent me a care package and this care package is parts for the goofy cart he sent me new bushings for the main shafts and also if you look in there you'll see that he sent me two grease or oil seals to go on the bottom end and so we're gonna have be putting these in and that will make it uh, much better and cut down on leaks and stuff like that and he also uh, made a point I was watching his video to do with uh, rebuilding his transmission for his uh, racing car because uh, the transmission I have is the same as what they use in racing carts and he mentioned about this sleeve that goes in to stabilize and to support the, sh uh, the shaft housing where it comes in the bottom of the transmission so I got I've ordered one of these and gotten it and this will have to be welded I'm not sure if it goes up this way or if it goes down that way I'll find out when I get out to the shop I'm thinking it goes up this way and I'll have to weld it into my frame to support it but he's given me all kinds of good tips and so forth and uh, so thank you very much Stacy I appreciate it and he's texted me back and forth several times answering questions for me and that, that's good for me he he knows all about these because he uh, he races lawnmowers 
And uh, so he builds them every year, every season. He rebuilds it and replaces the bushings and the seals and whatever other parts might be worn. And uh, so I, I've watched his couple of videos on rebuilding transmission two or three times. Uh, and he converts his five-speed, mine is a five-speed now, he converts his five-speed back to a three-speed, and of course he takes the reverse out. We're leaving the five-speeds in, and we're leaving the reverse in, because this isn't a racing cart, this is just a fun cart, you know, a goofy cart. And uh, I don't expect we'll be going as fast and thrashing it around as much as he does with his racing mowers. He's into some serious racing. So you might want to check him out. Twisted R. So those are my four mail calls. And I, each one of you, I appreciate it. Um, from Mudnut59 and Cutworm59 and my brother Cal Donner. And from Stacy from Twisted R Racing. Thank you for each one of you for uh, contributing to the build and uh, just thinking of me. And, and you can tell that Cutworm was thinking of me in strange ways. Well, you know, it wasn't really strange because he was thinking it was railroad related. And I agreed with him when I got it. Um, but we found out it's not. But that's okay. It's still cool. You know what I'm saying? Cool. All right, then. No more blabbering. I hope you all have a wonderful afternoon, and we'll talk to you again. Probably won't be back on the Goofy Cart for a couple of days because my i got to get back on the chicken coop. My chickens are going to be coming the end of June, and i still got the chicken run to do, and i got to finish off uh, the inside of the coop and put up some roosts in there and things like that. We'll bring you along when we get those projects going. And plus I'd like to do a project, uh, I'd like to do a video showing my tractor, my 1963 Massey Ferguson MF35 in action, both with the drag blade and maybe we'll get the uh, bush hog back on it and run that around again too. Thanks again. Bye for now.